What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel here once again. Well, BlizzCon 2017 has come and gone, and with this event, the head of the Overwatch team, Jeff Kaplan, has spoiled us lowly peasants with a whole lot of cool Overwatch stuff. On top of a super meta Blizzworld map, some new legendary skins, and an absolutely beautiful and heart-wrenching animated short starring everyone's favorite rocket hammer wielding knight, Reinhardt, we were also told that we would be getting another hero added to the roster, and for once it's not another DPS character, Character, a support character by the name of Moira. Now, I say hero only because that's how Overwatch technically classifies its character roster, but looking at her history and design, Moira is anything but heroic. She used to be a geneticist who raised a lot of eyebrows in the scientific community with her research on altering DNA through custom genetic programs. Many, including Overwatch, found her methods too questionable and ethically unsound, but it was actually Overwatch's covert ops unit, Blackwatch, led by Gabrielle Reyes, who took her in, believing her willingness to take risks to go beyond what others considered the ethical line of science could be of great use in their endeavors. Of course, this, along with many of Blackwatch's goings-on, was kept under wraps until Moira's unofficial employment was discovered, at which point Overwatch's public face completely disavowed any association with her. And once Overwatch was disbanded entirely, Moira began operating out of Oasis Iraq, and eventually she was brought into the fold in the terrorist organization known as Talon, presumably, again, using her knowledge of genetic science to aid in Talon's many endeavors. Now, what I find really interesting about Moira as a character is that she's not some megalomaniac bent on world domination. She's working for the obvious bad guys, but only as a means to further her research in genetics and human advancement without having to adhere to someone else's code of ethics. She's kind of like Colrest from Pokemon Black and White 2 in that sense. The really interesting thing about Moira, though, is that it completely throws a lot of existing theories for a loop, at least as far as they surround Gabrielle Reyes, better known these days as the King of the Edgelords Reaper, and his association with Overwatch's resident guardian angel, Mercy. At some point in his Overwatch days, Reyes was granted his abilities of teleportation and wraith walking, allowing him to become a much more deadly and lethal assassin. After the incident where Reyes' Blackwatch squad got into a huge battle with those loyal to Strike Commander Jack Morrison, better known now as Soldier 76, causing Overwatch's Swiss headquarters to blow up, many believed both Morrison and Reyes to be dead, and yet somehow both survived going on to fully embrace their present-day personas. Now, a lot of Overwatch fans, including myself, believe that Mercy was quite heavily involved in all of this, given her knowledge of biotic science and nanobiology, and because she obviously must have worked fairly closely with both Soldier and Reaper in their Overwatch days. Simply put, the overall consensus is that Mercy, perhaps not being quite as clean-cut, pure good as her character design and aesthetic would suggest, did some form of experiment to give Reyes's powers, and after the Switzerland incident, Mercy attempted to use some imperfect form of of resurrection to bring Reyes and Morrison back from the dead, but something went wrong with Reyes, either because the resurrection technology wasn't perfect or it simply didn't agree with whatever had been done to his body beforehand, causing the rapid degeneration of his genetic material, not to mention his face, that led him to fully embrace the persona of the Reaper. This theory is fueled mainly by a supposed voice line interaction between Mercy and Reaper, wherein Mercy says that this wasn't what she intended for him, to which Reaper responds that she knew exactly what she was doing. Now, I say supposed because not only could I not find any audio clips of this interaction, but Michael Chu, the lead writer for Overwatch, actually went out of his way at some point to say that it flat out doesn't exist. Though many still insist that not only does it exist, but that any archives of the interaction were properly erased once Michael denied its existence publicly. Of course, it doesn't hurt the theory that a not too dissimilar exchange still exists in the game to date, wherein Mercy asks Reaper, What happened to you? To which Reaper responds, You tell me. Dark. Seems fairly damning for everyone's favorite bright-eyed guardian angel, don't you think? Where Moira just throws that for kind of a loop, though, is one particular shot in her origin story video. You can clearly see Moira, wearing a suit quite similar to Mercy's Valkyrie suit minus the wings, by the way, in a room with Reyes as he begins to notice his body turning into smoke, a precursor to his new abilities. This obviously all but confirms that it was Moira and not Mercy who gave Reyes his powers in the first place, which makes much more sense considering Moira's lack of hesitation when it comes to genetic modification, not to mention that Mercy wasn't even really okay with her biotic technology being used to develop Anna's biotic rifle because she believed that such technology shouldn't be used to harm others. Just how far out of her moral comfort zone would she have to go to purposely turn another human being into
into a soul reaping smoke monster. In fact, although this isn't a confirmed thing by any means, I'd like to think that it might have been Mercy who may have first specifically spoken out on Overwatch's behalf that Moira's was research on cellular genetic alteration was morally and ethically unsound. In a lot of ways, Moira and Mercy are really two sides of the same coin, both scientists and medics, but with very opposing views on ethics and scientific integrity. Hell, you could look at Moira's character design and almost call it an evil inverted palette swap of Mercy's own. Getting back to their shared connection to Reaper, though, the reveal of Moira being the one who gave Reyes his original powers is pretty huge and does remove Mercy from that part of the equation, but it doesn't necessarily mean she's completely gone from it. It's possible, nay, likely, that while Moira performed the original experiments on Reyes, it was still Mercy who, overcome with grief and her own personal guilt for not being able to do more to prevent the Switzerland incident, tried to use some imperfect form of resurrection to bring Reyes and Morrison back to life, but accidentally worsened Reyes' physical condition and his rapid cellular degeneration, inadvertently bringing about the Reaper that we know and loathe today. In fact, I wouldn't be entirely surprised if she's pretty close to the top of Reaper's super edgy revenge list, and that he'd love nothing more than to ruin Overwatch's precious angel just like she ruined him. Though if you ask any Mercy mains out there, they'll probably say that Jeff Kaplan already ruined her enough. hi -o! So, what do you guys think? Do you think Mercy had any involvement with Reaper's current state? What do you think of Moira as a character? Let me know in the comments below! Give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more ethically questionable Overwatch theories in the future! Catch you on the payload, heroes! Super Nerd Daniel, out!